morning guys um i'm gonna do a short video i'm gonna try to keep this one short honestly because i'm trying to do like a series but it's all about related to this storm that's coming not just to america but this one's about a storm to america let's look it up um from 8 11 to 9 11 to 2020 okay so i'm just directional here guys but um These these are going to start going down, maybe even some sacred cow areas, honestly. But it's all about idols, guys, and America's full of them. And I'm not just a finger pointing guy, guys. I've got to do the same thing you do, same direction you got to go. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a red started getting really really sick, a cold again, really sore throat. I knew it was coming, but <clears throat> part of it's because the enemy wants to kind of hinder me and block me from the things that I'm trying to do, but that's a whole other story. But this one today, I'm praying about it early this morning. The dog woke me up at like 12.30 last night, 1 o'clock. That's not good. I don't like that, guys, because I don't get much sleep. But I've been anywhere from 1 to 4 in the morning getting up in prayer. And it has nothing to do with me. That's just the hour that the Lord, I, I used to never be like that. But that's just the hour he's got me watching. But this one's about idols. And I'm going to kind of focus in on this one. But this one, I was praying about it. I was like, okay, so coming out of 2 Timothy, I'm going to quote some scriptures, but 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 7, the great one, 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 4, but, and there's so many of them, but this is about the sexual, deviant, defiant idols that are out there, and I'm going to get to a bunch of them guys here shortly in some other videos too, but this seems to be prevalent, uh, I looked up this morning on Google, there's what's his name Epstein it's photo <laughs> big old blast in full letters when's the last time you saw on Google Jesus God the Holy Ghost or, or the Bible you know so th that one's free <laughs> sorry if I got the sniffle <laughs> so <clears throat> but it's loud proud in your face and if you come against that spirit I have no Several people, one minister, one guy that should be a minister, he preach, does a lot of good stuff on there. I always repost a lot of his stuff. He just, he was a little raw, but that's okay, because we're still his voice. It's time to be that light, guys. That's what this, look at that video about the fire in America. It's a separation, guys. It's time to rise and shine. Be his voice and his light to this world. So we have to separate and get sin out of our lives. And that's one of them, guys, okay? God, you, I mean, I can list, name them all. The, the fornication, the, the sex trafficking, that Epstein character guy, all the horrific stuff that's going on with the pornography and all the sex trafficking, the homosexuality, the just... Look at Canada, passing laws, sex with anybody and everything. Why is it a, so much sexual deviation from the word of God? There's a lady, I forgot to look her up, Fabia something. Um, I don't even forget the country, but she's being prosecuted for a hate crime now. Uh, email me, I'll try to find it. I got it somewhere, been a little scattered, but. So, why? Because the enemy is coming against us in that area. Because it's kind of like in Moses' time, kill everybody. Okay? Jesus' time, kill the firstborn. Now it's the abortion thing, guys. I'm not just trying to slap a label on everybody. Um, check out my video how God sees America concerning abortion I said that for almost two years before I put it out last year we've dropped the ball guys as the church is being his light I saw this thing on Facebook it was I forget the she's some 
star in some movie thing or something. But she was talking about um, adoptions or about, you know, children that, you know, need adoptions from homes. And if, if every church picked one, there wouldn't be this problem. Well, that could be the, go for the same with the abortion, guys. That's where the church has dropped the ball. We're too busy debating and slapping labels on people. A couple good ones, I, I think, so far. I just kind of feel a good spirit about caring at is one. Human Coalition is another one. I'm not so thrilled with the name, but I'm trying to work on, you know, refitting the body, get framed together because it's pretty scattered, guys. It's time for us to rise and shine and be as light to this lost and sinful and dying world. And yes, we have to say something, but you come against some of these spirits. I did and got censored. One of the big retails in America. And I hit enter. All I put on there was, guys, read your Bible. Quoted three scriptures. Boom. Never made it. My screen blew up with some hokey pokey bogus reason why it was a hate crime type thing didn't say it but yeah it's a hate crime all right it's a hate against christians guys against the word of god against us standing for the truth but we have to be careful that we filter it also through the word because john three sixteen said for god so loved all the world so even those dirty people the sin that's in their lives sin is sin guys Yes, some of them seem uglier and dirtier to us than others. But I know some people that have been set free from some of that stuff. But, you know, the, like the abortion issue, it's, it's death. It just, most of that other stuff, they can't recreate. There's, you know, it's just a pleasure. It's a fleshly pleasure. You know, just be, you know, a little honest here. Just, just fleshly pleasure. Why? To make it dirty. Go to, go to Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Read that, guys. That'd be a good start. God created us in his image, male and female, okay? He wanted us to procreate. Is there life in any of that stuff? No, there's not. It's just a bunch of dirtiness, filthiness, sin. That's why I put out there the Isaiah 27. I got that about a month ago. I was just in prayer, and the Lord was like, it's all, it's all twisted up. <laughs> Pick one. The political system to the... To, but this one's the, about the sexual deviation of this country and the world. <laughs> Defiant. Like I said, loud and proud in your face. I don't know if this is even going to get pulled off. <clears throat> it might. Like I said, you come against that spirit. <laughs> Everybody's all, I don't even like the word inclusion because it just, it doesn't sit right with me, guys. There's something wrong with that. With that. <laughs> Tolerance, too. Something wrong with that. My spirit, I don't, it just doesn't, there's something not there. So I'm asking God to show me. That's, that's the other part of this message. Who's your source? <laughs> Should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. But instead, it's, Sin is in, and they want to take that out. And when you talk about God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, or His Word, and you better look out. All hell's going to break loose. Why? Because the enemy for your soul is kind of PO'd, mad. So anyhow, um, that's kind of how, but this, I don't know if it's serious is the right thing, you know, but... I'm just going to kind of, st that's what the Lord told me, put this out there, that that dream of America, the storm was 8-11 to 9-11-2020, because I asked him about that. At first he told me, told me in the dream, well, you just have to look at it. It'll make more sense. But then he gave me the specific year. But it's to be a light. Let me end with this, guys. Um, I think it was 2004. But some, somebody decided that they everybody should take their cell phone at a certain time, turn it on, and we we're going to be the light of the world. Well, we are the light of the world, guys, but you can see it from outer space, big old, you know, around the world. And your cell phone's not that bright, but because everybody was doing it, it was, became bright. 
So, we're gonna let, it's time for us to rise and shine and be the glory of the Lord. And yeah, it's going to look a little different because we're the body. And, and, but we need to get together as the body. If you're the knee, be the knee. If you're the eye, be the eye. If you're the ear, be the ear. Quit. Everybody's trying to be the head. They want to have some secret sauce to KFC, some secret revel revelation and interpretation, and God's already here. We want to create them. Time to be the light, guys. Really dig. Study your Bible. Go to your source. Don't even listen to me. I'm not trying to, you know, I've got to do the same thing you do. I'm just trying to be directional. I'm just being about my father's business. He called me to be a watchman, so I'm going to be a watchman. I'm telling you guys, it's time to rise and shine and be his light, be his body. Sin is sin. we got to, we got to call it out, but we also have to go with all the scriptures. James 3.17, the wisdom from above. Um, plenty of them, you know. We have to filter it all through. <coughs> through God's perspective. So, I'm going to end with this. I do need some help, guys. Okay, look up. I just need some help, guys, some technical help, honestly. So if you're local here in Dallas, you feel that, do, or even just prayer, just a lot of prayers, um, anything you want to do. I'm not even really looking for support, support type stuff, but you can email us directly at Jesus is Alive in America, America at gmail.com. You can look it up on Google, Jesus is Alive in America will come up. You can blog with us at Jesus is Alive in America.com. Um, got two books out. It's not me about the book, but this book is very important, guys. I'm revising it right now as we speak, but it's called Jesus Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. And how we're His glory, and we all have a story, and we're His feet, and it's time to, to be that body, guys. And to lift up the other parts of the body, guys. And help each other. And quit trying to just anyhow it's time to just rise and shine guys and set these captives free no matter how dirty they look or where it is because it's a separation it's a time for us to be a peculiar people a royal priesthood his body his bride the calls being made, the marriage supper, the land, the, the wedding. The, but they didn't come, so he took all the broken, tore up people. Oh, the blind and lame, because people he was calling didn't listen. Took it lightly. So, let's get this idols out. Because... The self, the God of this self, is playing America. Me too, guys. Okay, I've got to be very, very cautious, careful. If I'm in error, email me, blog with me, put comments on here. Guys, I need help too. I got a couple issues I got to get straightened out. One pretty serious, two of them pretty serious. The one's the health issue. It seems to be like just a lot of issues. Look at the scripture. Look at the one I got about um, through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus or broken and contrite spirit. I'm going to end with this. He's dealing with, what he told me, he's dealing with, he's living in our brokenness. I mean, I'm listening to God. I was kind of broken about something in, in the health area. And I started singing this song, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. But, and I said, okay, God, I'm listening. He said, look at Peter, Paul, when he was Saul, <laughs> Esther. He had to go before the king, you know, he didn't just walk in and say, hey, dude, <laughs> you know. And there's a lot of people waiting to kill her, or him, or whoever. <laughs> they said, even my own mother, who watched me brutally murdered, pick one, Job, jo Joseph, um, Plenty of them. 
men and women. But he lived in their brokenness, dwelled in their brokenness. But what really got to him was the end when he said, even my own son who was broken for all of mankind. <laughs> and it hurt my heart. So we can't discount, you know, Yes, we have to say things. Yes, we have to portray it. Yes, we have to. It's not even about exposure. Look at the woman that was caught in adultery. Jesus' exposure is not exposure. It's to set people free. Not to do as the world does and say your dirty dog is just pooped on the floor and let me rub your face in it. But we still have to stand for the truth. We still have to be that light. We still have to set people free. We have to say, hey, you know, hey, wait a minute, foul ball here. This is the way, the truth, and the life. Lots of prayer, guys. Lots of studying your Bible, guys. Lots of seeking his face, guys. <clears throat> Chronicles 714, 7.14 is a great one, too. Humble ourselves. Pray. Seek his face. There's a lot of good stuff, guys, that we have to portray to this world. And yes, without being confrontational or having an attitude either yes we have to show love but we also have to say cry foul ball guys you can't live you can't live like this these idols gotta go guys that's what's plaguing america that's what's plaguing the world if we want to be the light to this world guys it's time to separate ourselves and that's what this fire storm's coming to america is going to be a separation purification there was this thing I saw on there. It said sometimes the storms in life don't come for this for destruction or for I have to reread it, but for for our destruction, but they come to clear a path. It's a stripping away, yes, going to be. I'm gonna put out more on that. But these idols gotta go, guys. And there's plenty of them. So, love you guys. Um, just, you know, like I said, just email me or just blog with us or contact us or just, you know, be a part of us because we're all part of the body. That's all I'm trying to do. I got Facebook friends all over the world now. It kind of blew up on me. I got probably a lot to go through. And I'm going to put some of them out there on some things. I just got a lot going on, guys, and I, could, I really could use some help. So if you feel led, you know, pray about it. I'm not, if, if it's just through prayer, great, I'll take all that. I'm not trying to get finances out of this either, guys. That would, that would be great, but I'm not, you know. I could really use some technical help so I could, you know, sit there and look at my lame face and maybe I could get a little bit better videos. You know, I don't know, I just, let's connect some kind of way, even if it's just, through blogging. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. I'm going to try to put out some more videos, but let's get rid of these idols. Let's clean up and be the light and be that body without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. We all can get them. It's easy to do. That's just one of them, the, the sexual deviation and defiant, just anything goes. Well, it doesn't go anymore, guys. I'm gonna end with this. It's not funny anymore, guys. We all make light of it. You know, you watch TV and you watch a cop show and they talk about, you know, you're gonna be somebody's girlfriend. Well, it's not very funny to the guy that's getting raped in, in the prison system or the gal or the, you know, the person that's got a pimp and we all kind of glorify a bunch of nonsense <laughs> and hoodwink it and look the other way. It's not anymore, guys. That's what the separation is coming from. It's time to cry foul ball. <laughs> People are hurting and dying and thinking their life doesn't matter and it matters <laughs> to God, to Jesus, to the Holy Ghost. So, Let's be that body, let's be that light, let's show people the way out, let's be that voice. Let's arise and shine, Isaiah 60 and Isaiah 60, 22. Love you guys.
Tati Singh.